Yo, we in here with the writer Chanel. We in here. My man Brandon. Kush Collection in the house. Chanel was just explaining to us like how she felt about, you know, being a writer and things like that. So I felt like she had some important things to say to y'all. <laughs> Check it out. Um, yeah, well being a writer is a tough job. Um, for me, most of all, um, I've been doing this for a lot of years. Can't tell you because I have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the most fascinating thing is being a writer, you learn something every day. You grow all the time. You can never say, I've learned everything there is to know about writing and melodies and, 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 and lyrics. <clears throat> because there comes a time where you may get stuck. I've been, uh, I've had a, two times where I was writer's block, like serious, for four months and came out of that stint writing some amazing, incredible things because you have so many ideas and melodies going around in your head. Right. It's like, how do you get them out? You know what I mean? But you have to be patient in your craft and keep your recorder, whether it's your Blackberry. You hear that? That's the gym. Or your <laughs> other recorder, you know, because I could be on a bus and I'll be watching a lady doing something or a guy and I'll just come up with a song and a title and throw the melody in there and say, this song is about Blase Block. Or sometime I'll get a sheet of paper and write down a bunch of titles and then kind of listen to a track and look at those titles and vision them in my mind and then the track, whatever the track makes me feel, I, I might pick from those titles, you know, because yeah. everything for me is about visual. As a writer, when you write, it should definitely be a visual, you know what I mean? And uh, speaking for myself, I write from other, other people's problems or, or happiness or whatever um, I think what I'm trying to get a niche at now is writing about love songs so that's what we were discussing um, love songs for me it's not a good deal <laughs> so you know one day I found myself uh, put in a box you know with a producer you know uh, for Mary J Blige saying they needed a, a love song and I couldn't find the words to write a love song and that became the title of the love song. I right. can't, I'm trying to find the words to write this love song. <clears throat> Major breakthrough for a writer. Um, just shows you're still learning. And I love collaborating. Just to, to, to go in on that, we were discussing that too. Collaborating um, enhances you as a writer. You know, because um, I feel like uh, when you get in a room with a writer and, and the writer says that, you know, everything I do is dope, you're, you're belittling everybody else in the room as writers. Right. You know what I mean? And I feel everybody has something to bring to the table. And as a writer, you're always supposed to be open to and adjust in your environment. And besides that, if you really that, you shouldn't have to gas yourself. Right, right. Period. Yep. It's a writer's world. It's a producer's world too, but now it's more of a writer's world. And just everybody just needs to love and come together. And there's so much to write about. No there's question. So much to write about. And I mean, I do. I can write a song by myself, and I love doing that, but I love feeding off of other people. Right. You know, and I think it's important for writers to be able to feed off of other people. Like, you're going to get published in any way. If your hunger is that bad, you know what I mean? Like, this is not the, the correct job for you. Because, you know, uh, when you're giving a God-given talent, it's about giving back. And I believe in giving back. You know, that's what me and my partner, Tanisha, we're about. We like giving people opportunities. You know what I mean? And um, I think whether you've written, you've gotten 10 Grammys for a record down to not getting a placement at all, just being in the company of other writers really helps you humble you. Right. To, to, you know, open yourself up to, to other ideas and being around other people, other melodies, you know. So, uh, that's it. Uh, writers 101.